well, here it is. My last outdoor cucumber. And I think it's about time we picked it because we have a little snail on it. And uh, we don't want this to be eaten, do we? They're so nice and so ready. And this is going to be absolutely glorious in a salad, as always. Well, it's done me proud, I have to say. And of course, this is the variety called Beth. Small, supposedly small cucumbers. As I said earlier in one of the other videos, we've had masses of these off. Just four plants, that's all, has provided us with cucumbers throughout the entire summer months. I've never grown dailies before, and I thought to have a go this year because I've always liked them, they're very attractive plants. But these dahlias this year have been just so giving. I've had lots and lots of beautiful flowers off them. In fact, this one's still got some buds coming, so I presume it could go on for a while yet. Uh, they don't produce seeds in their heads. You have to re-dig up the tubers. And uh, when these are ready, I'll show you what you do with the tubers. Um, there's a process involved. And, uh, well, we'll have a look at that. But this one, they're called Franz Kafka. And uh, they're a pom-pom dahlia. And uh, these are beautiful, aren't they? And they're just an amazing flower. They just keep coming and coming. As you see, I've got one behind me here. Um, I'm also growing a couple of other dahlias. And they're called um, Arabian Night. And I'll show you some pictures of those. They're a beautiful deep maroon. And uh, they're amazing. And, and they were relatively, I mean, I think these were about three pounds each per bag. And I've got a couple of tubers in each bag, which was really nice. Uh, and it, you got a bundle for say seven pounds you got quite a few but between you and me i was late buying them i got them in the sale so these little beauties were a pound a plant well here i am i have my carrots in front of me here and this is where we planted our spring bulbs and garlic and onions in both of these trays and look at that the most beautiful glorious gladioli the garden still keeps on giving. It's definitely an autumn day here on the allotment. It's quite breezy and it's chilly. We've had the sun, but it's now gone in. I'm out in the garden on the allotment this morning because, well, there's still lots of things to do. I'm keeping an eye on my sprouts. They're coming rather lovely. And uh, what I'll start to do soon is take some of the smaller ones off and, well, boil them up and freeze them. And then we've got them, of course. I'm still continuing to freeze my cabbages uh, so we'll have plenty for Christmas Day. I have my um, peas with me because I've just done in the greenhouse a uh, piece of guttering, some soil and planted some seeds, some peas. Because we've got some outside and I thought well we might as well carry on doing it because I can plant these right up until November. So if you want something in the spring then these are a variety. These are meteor and these are lovely. I've talked about these before. They're a dwarf pea so they don't need staking will grow and give plenty of peas in early spring next year, which is rather nice, isn't it? So that's been done. And, uh, well, I've been sat here, actually, in, on my bench, reading a marvellous book called The Water and Kitchen Garden. And uh, it's fascinating uh, what the government got the people of this country during the war to do. They wanted to get at least 500,000 allotments across the country growing and supporting their own vegetables and uh, well they achieved that and much more I mean the land army girls of course we know about and the amateur gardeners at home and uh, well it's just a brilliant thing to read about I'll cover it in more detail on the next show and we'll have a look at some of the recipes that they decided and um, some of the things that people are actually growing it's interesting actually they had a push for potatoes and uh, a well-known artist at that time called Betty Driver Yes, you might recognise the name. Betty Driver played the barmaid in Coronation Street for many, many years. But she was a huge star at the wartime years. And she recorded a song about a potato. And I'll find it for Sunday. And we'll have a play on the Sunday show of Betty Driver singing about a potato. And the potato was a cartoon character devised by the government to get people growing potatoes. The problem was that amateur gardeners found them really easy to grow. And so they grow hundreds and hundreds of tons of potatoes, taking over the allotments at times. And uh, it backfired, so the government tried to slow them down. But what it meant was, when eventually there was a shortage in potatoes, 
them with the garden as a home, then it's full supply. Because suddenly, you're rationed, and you could only have three pounds of potatoes per week. So we'll explain more of how they used to garden in the wartime years over the next few weeks. Yes, in general, it's popular. Thanks for